Okay, we're going to look at um, using blurs for creative effect. So I'll start off with, I've got a still title I've made in the titles. I'm gonna drag it to video channel two up here. So that's on there. And then next I'll bring in a little bit of footage and place that down here. Now I'm gonna bring it in on video channel one and bring it, slide it along so it's sort of halfway there. And I'll sort of drag back a bit. Now what you'll see is the, if I open that up, the, the opacity is, is activated on here, or I can double click and switch the opacity on and off here. So basically it shows through the transparent area. Now what I want to do is I want this picture to start off out of focus and as the text comes along I want it to to come into focus. So I'll just uh, take the uh, sound down there. So what I'll do is I'll just drag the playback head to the sort of end there where the title ends and then I'll get the razor tool and just do a slice there across the movie. And what that has done with the clip, it just chopped off this little bit that we can put an effect on. Now over, change the uh, media um, project panel to effects. And if we go to video effects, and you are looking for the blur and sharp and Gaussian blur we're gonna go for, and we just drop that on top of that video track there, right? Now I'll just close down this panel here and go to the effects control. So what we've got is Gagazian blur as an effect here and then it's coming up with that selected. So that's our little chopped up clip we've got. And where it says blurriness, we've got a slider here. So if I move my sort of playback head to the sort of beginning there, I want this to be really out of focus. So I make sure I um, click on the little like stopwatch here next to blurriness and what I do is I move it all the way along to 50 and it's really blurred out okay now you'll see it'll put a keyframe on the timeline now I'll just move my timeline along to the end here and I'll just stop at the end and again I need to um, have that in in focus right right at the end so I'm right at the end of that timeline here on the and I need to now take it down. So I'll take it back down to zero and you'll see the line goes across from the, those two keyframes. I'll just drag that across there so you can see it. So what's happening now is we come along, we've got the film, then it's quite blurry and then it starts to come into focus. Okay, so we'll just run that again. Uh, so you can use um, a blur and have it coming in and out of focus by using the keyframing. Always when you, when you do any of these effects, it's got a little stopwatch and when you press that, that's how you can activate keyframing on that. Okay, this time we'll do another take where we'll have the image being in focus, then it goes out of focus and overlaid with the title text and then it, the title text disappears and then it comes back into focus again. Right, so first up, I'll just drag my still title and as we did before, put that in uh, video layer two, um, the track on here, I'll just move that along and then I'll get a video clip, um, come up here, I'll get this daisy and move it along and have that starting from the middle and then I'll just make the video this track a little bit smaller um, so it just sits somewhere around in the middle here so what's going to happen is it's going to start coming to it's going to be out of focus and it's going to go it's going to be in focus out of focus and then back in focus so I need to get the razor to slice this up but before I do that I'm going to put an effect on the uh, uh, daisy video track one and if I go to effects I go down to video effects and then once I get video effects it's going to be sh blur and sharpen I drag out a Gagazian blur onto that video track block okay once I've dragged out the Gagazian blur I'm going to go for the razor tool 
and I'm just going to put it either side and slice here at the beginning of the um, title block and at the end of the title block. So I've sliced up my clip into three sections. First section will be um, in focus, second section will blur and the final section will come back in focus again. So once I've done that, I'll just get my select tool and I'll click on the first bit here, the first bit of the block, and then I'll change the source window to the effects control. Now it will come up here and show that little bit of the clip up here. Um, you'll see Gorgasian blur and then I'll just open that up with a little triangle and you'll see blurriness. Now to get it to keyframe you need to press the toddle animation and it's got that keyframe here. Now the first one and um, we need to have it um, in focus which it is and then if I move the playback head along I'll just come along here I just need it I'll take it back one frame with the arrow keys on the keyboard, take it back there, and then I just take the slider up and the blurriness and you'll see it'll curve up and go blurred, right? So if I move the playback head from the start, it's in focus, and then it blurs out. Now the middle block here, again I select um, with the selection tool, this is where my, 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 my text appears. So what I need to do on this one is, is basically have that totally blurred. So again, it's got the sets up here. All I can do is I don't need to do any animation. I just drag it all the way along and it's blurred, okay? Then finally, I move it along here and it just disappears. I'm gonna use the playback head to sort of go back and forward. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm, I'm clicking on that block. That's the first frame on that block. And again, I need to click the blurriness. Now this needs to be blurred and then I move it along to the end. Again, I'll just use my arrow keys to find out what that is, come back a bit. And then what I do now is I drag this all the way along and there I've got it. So what will happen now, I'll just sort of render up those clips so it runs more smoothly. And there we go. And then it'll come back and focus again. Okay. Now it might be the case that you might need something a little bit more longer that was quite short but that's an idea of what you can do. You can have something just blurring out and then you can have information overlaid on it and then you have it coming back into focus again as you carry on with your, your movie or film. It gives emphasis to some text if you want to show stuff or overlay stuff and it, it knocks down the background so it's, it's not that um, difficult to read it. In those cases now you can you know darken things down using other effects but you know this might be a useful tool to use in your production